And you're welcome to the details now. This afternoon, Chief Executive of the Bulk Oil Storage and Transportation Company, Alfred Obing, is under pressure to step aside or be sacked following what has now become uh, known as the dirty fuel scandal. The pro-government pressure group, the Alliance for Accountable Governance, AFAC, is the latest to demand his dismissal. They've scheduled a news conference to give details of why they've joined the minority in Parliament, ASIP, and some members of the public in condemning the alleged sale of adulterated fuel to unsuspecting public. We will be hearing from them shortly, but this afternoon the regulator, the National Petroleum Authority, says it has launched an investigation into the matter. In a statement, Energy Minister Boache Jako said a committee is being set up to look into the whole matter. And here are details of that press conference. I'm going to try and read a bit of that to you. So this is it. It, ha it comes with, of course, the coat of arms, Republic of Ghana, and the press release. Let me go through it quickly. Wednesday, tw June 28, 2017, the Ministry's attention has been drawn to the various media reports on the issue of the release of 5 million litres of off-spec, uh, well, it's supposed to be off-spec, this is off-spec fuel from the Accra from the Accra Plains Depot of the Bulk Oil Storage and Transportation Company, BOST. We have also received a report of the preliminary investigations conducted by the National Petroleum Authority on the issues. We note that BOST has so far evacuated a total of 471,000 litres of the said product and has currently suspended evacuation in compliance with NPA instructions. We wish to assure the general public that the ministry is determined to ensure that the integrity of the quality of petroleum products supplied in the country is protected. In view of this, the ministry is in the process of set, setting up an eight-member investigative committee into the matter. And the terms of reference of the ministerial committee include, but not, will, not limited to, and it goes on and on. And let me see if I can touch on that quickly as well. So one, they are to determine the circumstances that created the off-spec product. Two, to review the procedures undertaken by BOSS to evacuate the product. Three, to ascertain the quality and remaining quantity of the product. And four, to determine if the product can be corrected. If not, determine the alternative use for that product. Of course, uh, they are supposed to review the transaction as well. And then it goes on to name who will be on that particular committee. And so these are uh, the people who should be represented on that committee. It says the committee will be made of representatives of one, National Petroleum Authority, the NPA, the Tema Oil Refinery Tour, Ghana Standards Authority, GSA, Bureau of National Investigations, the BNI, Chamber of Bulk Oil Distributors, Association of Oil Marketing Companies, Energy Commission, and then a representative from the relevant um, civil society organizations. So this is supposed to be the composition of that uh, committee that is probing this uh, worrying, disturbing matter. It goes on to say that the committee is expected to advise the ministry on the necessary technical, administrative, and legal actions to be taken. Of course, it is signed by the energy minister, Wache Ejako. So this is what the ministry is doing about this situation. Well, the Chamber of, Pet of Petroleum Consumers are also uh, demanding the immediate, the immediate interdiction of the BOSS CEO plus retrieval of taxes on all fuel so far moved out of BOSS facilities. We'll also be speaking to Executive Secretary of COPEC, uh, Duncan Amwa. But let's hear from vehicle owners who are increasingly getting worried that they may have already filled their tanks with the dirty fuel. Yes, I have uh, selected stations that, that is the shelf list that I buy fuel from. That is, I believe that they don't sell um, kerosene or diesel to, they don't mess it to the petrol. That is shell and go. And total, these are the three places I used to buy my fuel. But apart from this, then I'll pack and use one gallon and buy from where I'll get other shell total to put in to continue my journey to where I get to the station itself to fill it. I used to buy it, I don't think they will give me fake. Because there are some areas, I used to buy, there was one station I bought from four. At that time, I didn't enjoy. The car was detecting something like that. So I need to stop. I couldn't even go, I have to wait for some time before I move. So I decided to buy four from those places again. So since I used to, I started buying from other places, I've not had any problems since. Actually, as a matter of fact, I don't check. 
I don't check. Although it's this morning that I heard about some contamination fuel on on the market, mm -hmm. but um, it, I'm about to buy fuel, so maybe I'll check when I get to the filling station. Good. That maybe it can even damage my car or something. I used to buy it from uh, from Shell Station beside the airport. Uh, okay. Beside the airport, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, I trust I trust that station and once once I have a problem in my car because of the quality of the diesel I my my car is diesel so the quality wasn't good I used to change some parts I get problems inside that's the reason I heard it on the news um, yesterday and so I I think it's it's really bad if it is true it's going to affect probably uh, vehicles that is going to you know use this fuel and so they should probably investigate more into the issue and if there's a po the possibility they should recall the fuel that is sold out for uh, onwards probably uh, uh, try to get it you know well done before they send it back to the market yeah. send it back to the market yeah. and yes they can do further investigations onto the issue and then those that are found to be, you know, breaching the rules, then they should be brought to book. I'll speak with the Executive uh, Secretary for COPEC, Duncan Amwa. Hello, sir. Thank you very much for your time once again. You Yesterday you were here on the show, so many thanks for your time here, here on the show. There have been statements from the Energy Ministry announcing the start of investigations uh, into the matter. Uh, one by the NPA signaling attention to take legal action, and another by both explaining how this whole... Uh, uh, saga happened, but COPEC doesn't appear to be satisfied uh, with this. Your call has been put on hold. Please wait. All right, I think we're having a bit of a challenge there. <laughs> uh, sincere apologies for that. We will have to uh, place him back on the line. Hopefully, we can have that sorted in just a few seconds. Uh, do I have you back on the line, sir? Okay, Mr. Duncan Amwa, if you can hear me, you you have you have uh, you have the floor. Please go ahead. Uh, yes, what I was saying is, Ghanaians were expecting to get get some definite responses yesterday. Uh, if you recall, the NPA uh, had gone out there to verify for itself the whereabouts of the contaminated product that had left bot. Bot had all along insisted that it had only taken out of its depot 108,000 liters. We insisted it was 471. NPA came to confirm what had left both depot was 471,000. It fuels suspicions that there's something maybe both know that what went out, what is actually left is 108,000 liters for which it was defending itself all along in the media. And so we further suspect that whatever product is being held at Duke Oil on bonded, I mean, space, uh, might not be active or might not be uh, the exact 471 that is expected to have gone out. Unfortunately, uh, the volumes were not measured yesterday, and so we are unable to ascertain whether indeed everything is still intact or some have gone out. Mm. Reports we get better from uh, the consuming public because we get ma morning to evening since this issue came. Of uh, course, to capture the point that some believe uh, they have been served with contaminated products on the market. And so, uh, indeed, uh, until we get to the finality of this matter, until the committee is able to put part to page, uh, it will be quite difficult uh, for us to continue defending itself, telling Ghanaians the stories it has told, all of mm. which uh, uh, turns out. Uh, to be manipulations and lies at the end of the day. Well, they have said 108 went out. 471 actually is out there uh, <coughs> in, in a private person's stand here on bonded. We are insisting that whatever needs to be done to retrieve these products or to bond those products to ensure that no further contaminated product, if some had already gone out, to go out again and that is why we are calling mm. uh, on and, and since you make reference to the committee i i assume that 
uh, it suffices for you that the energy ministry is taking this step. But then the people who are most worried are vehicle owners like, well, perhaps you and myself. So uh, we've been speaking to some of them and they're clearly worried about the situation. If you were to advise them as to how to detect uh, uh, contaminated fuel, what is it that you say? Uh, indeed, uh, there is anxiety in the public as we speak. And that is why I said if we had been able to check the volume, uh, then maybe the public will be able to go to sleep if it is coming from the NPA that we have checked. And all the 471,000 liters that went out of Boston's bonded mm -hmm. uh, area or state uh, is intact. Nothing has gone out. Then we can all go to bed. But suspicions are very right. And like I indicated, because it's contaminated, if anybody comes into contact with it, your vehicle will behave funny. And sometimes the transmission process will start acting up immediately. Uh, we know that uh, just beyond uh, the first one kilometer drive, most vehicles that come into contact with contaminated products uh, would have a way of showing up because that by then, uh, the product together with the little you have in your reserve tank uh, would have activated a certain process. And that definitely will show on the engine and how the car, uh, uh, the transmission process is. For some stories we have heard from consumers, some claim they had loaded products from uh, some places and uh, they moved only to realize the car is jacking badly, uh, had to get mechanics to check, uh, were advised to uh, get products out. They got new products. Uh, the indication light that talked about check engine, uh, that has come on suddenly goes when you put in some other product. So indeed, the modern vehicles have a way, uh, have these sensors all over that can detect when there's something wrong immediately uh, with your transmission uh, uh, fluid. And so one can easily tell when they come into contact with contaminated products. And that is why uh, I believe we keep getting some of these calls expressing concern and worry. Indeed, uh, we should be fast about this if we need to go back and take measurements uh, or volume mm. of whatever is out there uh, with soup oil uh, before the public uh, goes to worry further about uh, this uh, disturbing issue. How, how, have, you, have you been in contact with BOST uh, yeah, between yesterday and I think today they've been answering a few questions and they've been conducting some tests as well in the full glare of the media. You must be aware of this development and does that also, also suffice? In fact, uh, uh, it is quite difficult for the public now to take anything BOST says uh, that serious, especially when, uh, if you recall earlier, uh, when the issue broke out, all the excuses they have made uh, have turned out to be uh, quite bad. Uh, when they are flawed by ASAP, uh, they run for cover. When they say this and they get flawed, they run for cover. So indeed, if it comes from maybe the ministry or the NPA, uh, the public uh, might be a bit more willing uh, to take same. But the officials at court, uh, we think a lot of them would need to be interdicted and possibly arrested. It might not even be the fault of the MD that a whole five million consignment is given to a operator who is not licensed at all uh, to do that kind of business downstream. But he says he was advised by a technical committee. And that technical committee is still out there uh, trying to do gymnastics with this whole issue. And that is why I think the public is getting increasingly worried about the sort of uh, stories and defenses that is playing out with uh, both and this uh, whole saga. We All believe right. the NPA must be uh, a bit very swift okay. uh, in getting to the bottom of this. Where sanctions uh, must apply, uh, Ghanaians will support 100% uh, uh, okay. to apply those sanctions. But we welcome again uh, the Minister's Age Member Committee and we are sure uh, COPEC is on there and will serve the interests uh, of the public uh, tentatively. All right, thank you very much for your time here on The Pause. It's still a developing story, very interesting one uh, indeed. We'll see how it all pans out. But like we said, that eight-member committee uh, will be working and we'll see what results they come up with. But in the meantime, though, let me just quickly uh, wrap it up by telling you what the demands of COPEC are. Uh, they, uh, they've summed it up in this way. They say, for the avoidance of doubt, the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers is calling for the following with immediate effect. It says, one, immediate curtaining off of the location where these contaminated products have been held, immediate positioning of state security officers at the said depot to prevent anyone from re-adding any lead tests uh, suspected to be already sold to attain the original volume taken from BOSS depot, 
and uh, three, immediate ascertaining or measuring of volumes both in tank 121 and both in the holding tanks at Zupoil. And it goes on and on. Let me take the last two. Immediate attempt by the state to retrieve all taxes and revenues. We've said that already. And immediate interdiction and arrest of the technical and, and other officials of BOSS together with the two named companies for circumventing due process in awarding and securing an illegal contract as these off-takers clearly have no legal permits to conduct <coughs> such business. I beg your pardon. Uh, we'll get all of the answers to, uh, uh, to all of those demands once the Mem uh, the eight member committee begin uh, its work. Mm -hmm.